pump auto off timer setting. Now we are going to see how to set the pump auto off timer. Press the set timer button for 3 seconds. Timer mode will appear. At this point in time, if you again press, by default it will read 10 minutes. Using the plus button, we can increase the time or use the minus button to decrease the timer. For example, I am going to set 1 minute and save the time. We have to set if the timer mode is to be disabled or enabled. By pressing the increment or decrement button, timer can be enabled and save the same subsequently you will read the command end. If you press again, it will reach the front screen. The auto pump off time has been set. Pump auto off timer function. Now, we will see how it is functioning. If you press the green on push button, the motor pump will turn on. Thereafter, the display will show that it is in timer mode. Also, the one minute timer, CRI logo, the voltage at which the motor was running, Current will read 8.2 Amps. The pump status will show as pump on. Now, if you see, it has crossed 1 minute. The pump has been turned off. Current is now 0. Current Amps will read 0.0. .0. And automatically, the pump has been turned off. MRC, Motor Rated Current. First, let us set the MRC, which is Motor Rated Current. That is available in the nameplate. Now let us see how to set the MRC. Press and hold the plus button and simultaneously press the set button. It will reach the set mode. If we press it again, we will get the MRC on the display. Thereafter, if you press again, it will read 11.4, which is a default value. This can be increased or decreased using plus or minus button respectively. We can set a minimum of 3 amps and a maximum of 25 amps. After setting the motor's rated current, in order to save, we need to press the set timer button. It will be saved. Dry run. Next, let us see how to set the dry run option in the meter. Prior to that, let us see what is dry run. If the motor is running but water has not been pumped up to the overhead tank, it is known as dry run. The condition could be like low water level in the sump, blockage due to dust. In such conditions, the way to protect the pump is what we are going to see now. To check in the settings, we should follow the same procedure like MRC. Pressing and holding the plus button and simultaneously pressing the set timer button, we will reach the set mode. Again, if we press the timer button, the display will read MRC followed by dry run. Subsequently, if we press again, it will show the MRC's value and then we will get the dry run option. Pressing again will show the default value 60%. We can increase it to 70% or decrease it to 60%. We can only set either 60 or 70%. Now we are going to set it to only 60% and followed by saving the settings by pressing the set timer button once. Overload Next, let us see how to do the settings for overload condition. We will face this condition if there is jamming of the pump. Sometimes, when the current value is high, it will result in overload. By changing the settings, we can protect the motor pump during overload condition. Press and hold the plus button and simultaneously Press the set timer button. It will lead to set mode. We are going to use the same procedure as MRC setting for overload 2. If we press the set button once again, we will read MRC on display. Then MRC value, dry run and dry run value and subsequently it will read OL that is overload. Its value will be by default 120%. From MRC, if it goes above 120%, it will trip and the pump will be protected. We may also press the plus button and increase it to 130% or use the decrement button to reduce it to 120% but default is 120%. If it goes above 120%, the power supply to pump will be cut off automatically and the motor will be protected. 
in case we set it to 130% from motor rated current if it goes above 130% it will trip and protect the motor later we are setting it to 120% and saving it MFO next let us see MFO is multiplication factor the submersible control box will operate in two modes they are power factor mode and current mode used to protect the motor for example in some conditions when there is a high voltage or low voltage there will be a difference in the power factor in such conditions the power supply cannot be cut off in case of dry run in such conditions the power should cut off based on the current factor here we are going to see the way to change the settings similar to MRC we press and hold the plus button and simultaneously press the set button to reach the set mode press again it will read MRC MRC value dry run and its value then overload and its value MFO which is multiplication factor if this is enabled it will operate in both the modes in case of the side condition where there is a high or low voltage issue due to power factor it does not function properly under such condition this can be disabled and saved it will function only in current mode digital meter bypass process let us now see how to bypass in case of surge in voltage resulting in digital meter failure now the display is clear in case there is a failure and we are unable to run the motor due to high voltage or surge in voltage we can bypass now we will go through that process ensure the MCB is turned off then remove the meter connector and loop using this small wire the small wire will help to bypass and run the motor through panel box without the meter we are removing the connector and inserting the wire in the third and fourth slot of the connector and in the meter the common MC that is where I'm going to shot the two terminals now I have shot the two terminals in order to bypass now I'm closing the box and turning the MCB on now the display will be blank because the meter failed this must not be a blocker for not using the motor hence I have done the bypass process I'm turning the pump on the motor is running but in this mode all the protection features will be disabled